What's going on guys, VicVV back with another Game Case Arcades video. This one today we're going to focus on all retro stuff, such as the Super Nintendo, the NES, the Sega Genesis, the Sega CD, all basic easy stuff that you could probably find on a Pi. But most of all, we're going to look at the arcade classics. Um, the cool thing about PC builds, Hyperspin builds, is that there's more games, um, such as NFL Blitz, uh, Cruising Worlds, so there's more graphic intense games. So. Just going through it real quick, you do have about maybe 2,800 um, arcade games, and what's really cool is that some of these have like some nice artwork to it. Uh, again, that's a track mode for Hyper Spin. This is what you pay for. It looks great, especially when it goes into auto rotate mode. As you can see, it looks awesome. But real quick, let's just load up one, which I personally enjoy, is the NFL Blitz. I'll do the 99. NFL Blitz 99 and uh, 2K is really a, a four player game. So with MAME, you have to actually configure, the way they made this ROM is that this is actually player one, and this is actually player three for you to play on opposite team. So that is something that you have to actually go into the individual system and reconfigure it. There you go, we got a nice load up. We're gonna add a bunch of coins. And again, as you can see, we have player one here, and we have that one there. So we're gonna use player one coin to load up our credits. Full game purchased. I really don't wanna enter my name, but I did it by accident just to load up something real quick. So we're using the joysticks and the top three buttons for this game. This one is underway. Oh, that was, that was horrible. <laughs> I mean, classic stuff, red button to exit out, and we are back into it. Again, this even does have Tato Type X. Tato Type X is actually like a, I don't wanna offend anybody, I think it's a Chinese or a Japanese um, arcade thing. So this actually plays like Super Street Fighter 4, the actual arcade coin. I'll load that up while I'll talk about it. Uh, really cool stuff. So again, they did make a Street Fighter 4 edition for an actual arcade. Um, so. Tato Type X is an actual like PC inside of an arcade um, cabinet. So this kind of goes through its kind of boot phases. You're gonna see a bunch of initializings here. But what's really cool about this is like, this is the actual like arcade version of Street Fighter 4. So pretty cool stuff. Again, we're just strictly talking about classics on this, basic stuff. And then the next versions, you're gonna see the next ones that we're gonna talk about, the Wii and the Wii U and all that. So as you can see, we have our please wait now we can insert our coins. We could press start. Again, this is actual credits related. So this is the same as the PC, like actual PC game to it, but I mean, this kind of has a different feel to it only because again, you are playing like the arcade version of it. So I think single player mode on this is a little bit better. And as you can see, graphics are pretty good. There's our Hadouken. I'm going sideways. Then once you're done, red button out to escape out. Let's load up another emulator. For example, like, uh, you know, basic stuff. Some stuff that you've already seen me do, but I don't mind showing it again. Uh, we could do like the Super Nintendo. Again, pretty cool stuff. This does have like some really cool artwork to it. See that you got TMNT. We did that in our last video. Did the arcade game if we want. One button, one button only. This does have the save and load state, so you could just simply press in the front to save and the load to save your states. Keep in mind though with the NES and the Super Nintendo, you had to press start. Like see this, buttons don't work. You have to actually physically press the start button. That's how it was back in the day. You had to actually pick, you know, the start button. So this is the NES. I have A and B up here, and I have these set to turbo on X and Y. This way, like, it'll just constantly jump, basically, for a turbo. Really cool stuff. Full screen. I always stretch my displays. I always like the display stretch. Basic stuff. We can exit out. Again, just showing you guys real quick. The real new one that kind of was added was, like, Sega CD. Um, Super Famicom is there. We're going to do these later on. We can do handhelds real quick. I mean, again, you do have, like, Game Boy Color, Game Boy um, Advanced. 
pretty nice stuff, pretty cool stuff. I mean, we'll just load it for kicks. Again, one button and one button only. So this I don't have stretched. This I'd rather keep it like this because on a Game Boy kind of stretch screen on a 16 by 9, it really doesn't look that good. So we're going to leave this down like that. Got your loading screens. There you go. See, now I'm able to play. I don't even know what that says. <laughs> Can I do a Hadouken? In a... I can't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Old school Hadouken. Bring it back, we're gonna exit out. This one here, you might have to hit it twice, the red button, you do, that's okay. This also has Virtual Boy. So I was playing some uh, old school Mario Tennis. I actually had a Virtual Boy growing up. <laughs> it wasn't that great of a system. So again, we have to press the start button. This one we have to press our B button. Stretched. Oh, <laughs> once you're done, red button to exit out. We bring it back. Uh, you do have like the Nintendo DS, which I'm gonna do a different video for that, only because this does need the stylus, so you do need the mouse for this one. Um, 32X, let's do a Sega CD. Somebody requested that. So Sega CD, the really cool one is, sometimes on these though, the audio files don't really go through. Um, I was playing Sonic CD, and I noticed that there's no music in the background. In the preview there's music, I could always take a look at the, the I and I settings, but see this does come up, do you wanna replace it? You just press yes on it. Press the start button. Kind of like telling you like, hey, you have a previous game loaded. Do you want to, you know, write over it, I guess. So here, I noticed that there's no music to it. But, I mean, that's something that is pretty known for this kind of Sega CD thing. There's only like 12 games to Sega CD, I think. So as you can see right now, there is no music playing. But you do hear... I totally failed that. <laughs> Once you're done, you exit out. Screen will come back to its regular resolution. Same thing, Sega Genesis. You got your Dreamcast. Neo Geo is actually an arcade MAM. Um, really, it's really fun. It's really reading from the MAM. Uh, you got your Ataris, your Atari 2600s. Um, really cool stuff. Centipede. Centipede really, to me, was really meant to be played on a trackball, but you get what you get. It is a joystick. So here we go. So far he is up. Again, basics. We're talking classics on this. So once you're done, you exit out. Again, screen resolution comes back to its regular state, which is 1080p. You got your Jaguar. And in all honesty, guys, that's mostly it. Um, again, you got your Capcom, so this is again MAME, just on a nicer wheel, I guess you could say. We'll bring it back. Um, that's really it. I don't want to bore you guys with the basic stuff. Um, I really want to get into like the Super Nintendo, uh, the N uh, N64, and like the 3DS and the Wii and all that. So again, guys, this does play your basics, you know, the handhelds and all that. It will play it, and as far as handhelds, we'll make another video. But for example, as you can see here, you have like your Game Gear. We could press this one real quick for Samurai Showdown. They made a newer version of Samurai Showdown, so hopefully that comes to the PC. Pretty nice. This one we have a bezel on it. This way, again, we didn't want to stretch it too much. Press the start button, press the start button. So as you can see, we're able to navigate and we're able to play this. That's old school. <laughs> 
just gonna bring it up. So this looks like it was a two button console. And there you have it. We're gonna exit out, we're bored. Just gonna exit out. Again, this right here is, is changing the screen resolution. So it's going back to a 1080p screen. And honestly guys, that's really it. That's really it as far as classics. Again, Vic VP Game Case Arcades, six terabyte PC build on this one.